Hey guys, Chris from the Ultimate Recycler. A little upcycling project here from some junk I found in my backyard. Uh, an old wire crate. I get lots of these old crates. This is a fairly shallow one, but I often turn up in sheds. And rather, oh look, I could sell it like that, but rather than just try and get 10 bucks, I thought I'll make something out of it. I've always got plenty of scrap timber lying around. And these wheels are off a golf buggy. Now, if you don't know what a golf buggy is, or if you call it something in your area, here's a picture of some. I get them all the time in shed cleanouts. Quite often the, the metal framework of the buggy is rusty or the, the old golf bag's not much good, a bit hard to sell. So um, if they're not really saleable, the steel on the buggy will go in the scrap. I sometimes give the golf bag away and I keep the wheels because they're handy for little projects like this. So we're going to make a little wagon, just a little pot plant thing for the garden. I found a couple of... Um, pipe sort of brackets I'm not sure what those were from they might have been the ends off a little seat or something but uh, they ran about the right shape for what I need so we'll see if we can put it together pretty quickly and make it uh, a nice little project it looks cute in the garden makes use of some discarded materials and um, once my shop's able to open again after this virus thing we'll probably be able to sell it okay I've just laid this out upside down to give you an idea how I'm going to put it together thing is with these projects you don't want to spend hours and hours making something that you can only probably sell for 30 or 40 dollars so you just knock them together quickly um, I've found some saddle clamps that fit over the pipe so um, there's one of those I've got a heap of these out of a guy's shed once I cleaned out he was an electrician and there was a lot of these they're turning out to be really handy for all sorts of projects so rather than try and sell them I'll keep them so that'll just screw that pipe section on I'll just make a rough timber frame as you can see uh, there'll be another piece of timber go across the back I'll cut those off neat and um, just a cross piece in the middle and again a couple of the saddle clamps just on the short stubby axle of the wheel um, that should be amply strong enough the thing's not going to be towed around um, to any extent you'll be able to wheel it around the garden I'll have to move that wheel out a little bit so it doesn't foul against the edge but um, it's not like it's going to be towed around with big loads in it behind the rider mower or something because it won't handle a lot with just the saddle clamps but it'll be great just in the garden for a few pot plants bit of a bit of a nice effect and it'll be really easy just to knock together here I've just got to cut up a bit of timber and put some screws in so I'll hop to it it shouldn't take long at all okay I've cut all the timber to length and you can see I've just assembled the frame loosely on top of the crate. Uh, the centerpiece where I'm going to mount the wheels I have left overhang just a little bit on each side. Just so the wheels don't rub against the sides of the crate. Now you could nail this frame together. Uh, I'm going to screw it and the only screws that I found were probably just a little bit short. So... What I'm going to do is get a, a larger drill bit and drill in half an inch or so and then a smaller hole through so the screw will pull into the timber about so much. Um, look, I could, probably should have used longer screws but I didn't have any here and I don't want to go and buy new stock, new stuff for this project and that'll work fine. And I'm going to assemble it sitting on top of the crate because the crate's a bit uneven and this way the timber is sort of taking on the profile of the base of the crate. If I was to assemble it on a workbench nice and square and flat, it may sit with a bit of a wobble. It wouldn't really matter because we we're going to screw the crate down onto it anyway. But uh, I'll assemble this now and then we can uh, attach the, uh, the drawbar part and the wheels. Okay, I've drilled all the holes. Now I'm just going to put some drills in whilst it's sitting on the wire cage as I mentioned. And the head's pulled right into the timber, which means that the thread's gone right into the other piece. And it's nice and secure. And of course, when you're drilling into the end of a piece of timber, you're drilling in with the grain rather than across it. So you do need to get a bit of depth or it'll pull out. Okay, we'll just finish this end and then do the other end.
Now we'll just secure the crossbeam. Very good. Now let's put some wheels on. I'll just use some short screws through here and space the wheel out just a whisker. Beautiful. So I'll put two clamps on each just to make sure it holds on. And the other side, we'll just get them lined up roughly by eye. We don't need to worry about having a wheel alignment. It's not going to wear out a lot of tyres. There we go, that's the wheels on. As usual, I'm just using up screws that I find in um, when I'm doing people's sheds cleanouts. So they're always going to be odds and ends, but uh, so yeah, I love not having to go to the hardware and spending money on nuts and bolts and screws. It's great having my own supply. All right, so we're just going to fit this little drawbar type assembly. Um, again with saddle clamps, as I've mentioned, and we'll just whack some screws through there. And there we go, the undercarriage is all finished. Now of course it's not connected to the basket yet. So we'll turn it over and I might move the camera back a bit. So our basket fits on there nicely. Um, as I said with the timber, if I made it perfectly square, the basket might be a bit warped or out of shape, whereas this way it's kind of made for it. And all I'm gonna do is use a couple of screws with wide washers just to anchor it in each corner and then our job is finished. And there we go, one of the quickest little projects you could do, very easy, not a lot of skills required. Uh, looks great, I reckon. Good use of the uh, the wheels, they kind of suit it. Um, I've just stuck that button brick. You can certainly tow it round, it actually pushes around really well. Uh, and they're nice wide wheels, so no issues there, that rolls really well. You could actually carry a fair weight in it. Um, the screws with the large washers probably stand out a bit because they're shiny. Might have been better just to put a strap of wood across and a couple of screws through that. Um, but it won't take long and they'll go rusty and won't be noticeable. So, um, yeah, look, under half an hour, probably about 20 minutes to knock that together out of materials that weren't worth really anything except maybe the crate. As I said, I'd get $10 for that. But I'd put about $40 on this out the front of the shop and um, I might even put a few pot plants in it. Just like that. And we've got a mobile strawberry garden. Pretty cool, hey? Thanks for watching. Uh, look out for me in the next video. Who knows what it will be. And thanks for all my new subscribers who have come along recently. Feel free to share my videos. And uh, feel free to offer some advice or give me some ideas on what you'd like to do. Or like to see me create. If you've got something lying around your yard, perhaps send me a photo. And we can work something out together. Okay, see you next time. Bye.